This episode of Nobody's Listening is brought to you in part by Bluehost Hosting. Unlimited space, unlimited hosting, unlimited bandwidth. Check it out today at nlcast.com slash bluehost and get the hosting that we use. Also brought to you by listeners Drew Covert, Anna Silva, Anna Zosh, Januz Stervak, and Tamara Selleck. The show is for you guys. Nobody's listening podcast. Rated G for giggles and glee. What? Bad feeling about this. No. Nobody's listening. No. Nobody's listening. No. Nobody's listening. You're listening to Nobody's Listening. Where we tell funny life stories and invite you to do the same. Hey, 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 how you doing there, podcast people? This is Nobody's Listening, the show where we tell funny life stories, yours and ours. It's episode 185, brought to you the week of November 29th, 2011. I'm your host. My name is James Kinnison, and with me is John Calloway Garden Steinklobber. How you doing, John? Hey, uh, James. I'm, um, it's bright outside, and I like the way things look. Excellent. Okay. Um, the Callaway reason, Gardens is awesome. I called you Callaway Garden Steinklopper because you're posting all these pictures about Christmas lights, and then and Thanksgiving ain't even over yet. What is the deal? Tell this me. This is over. <laughs> no, that's it's over. The Thanksgiving over. season has 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 uh, it's still in the air. Well, I probably shouldn't tell yeah, you that I've been listening. Christmas music, yeah. Yep, same here. So you yeah, got to wait till December first. Sorry. Oh no. No. We've been listening to it since <laughs> since October. Unless I'm painting with walnut ink. That's like walnuts are kind of Christmassy, right? So I'm I'm in Christmas no, those mode. Chestnuts. Um, well, yeah, that's that, true. That uh that other voice you hear is in fact Ethan Walnut Ink Nicole. Um, <laughs> how you doing, Ethan? That is a lame name. <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to like danger. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I got called Callaway Gardens, so how do you yeah. get? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're the two femmes. <laughs> What's your middle name, James? Danger. Okay. Yeah, it kind of sucks it's for y'all. James Danger Kennison. <laughs> anyway, we always start with a uh, a little bit of mockery and then an opening song. This one comes to us from Pompa, Pompla Moose Music uh, oh. on YouTube with 3,125,350 views. It's the Angry Birds theme. Oh. Kick that bass. He tears it up in a minute. Yep. One of my neighbors. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. There it is, uh, Angry uh-huh. Birds theme. Pretty cute, honestly. It was great. Pomple moose. They're they're pretty talented. The guy does like all the instruments, right? Yes, he does. And the girl does all the voices. And she stares at the camera with no emotion in her face except for oh, this girl. one yeah. song. This one I had could play because she actually emotes a little bit. She scares me. Unlike some of Ethan's drawings. I mean, they actually have <laughs> Life. Oh, just, kidding. just kidding. Yeah. It's like picking on God. You can't really do it. <laughs> He's so good at art. And I hate him. Um, anyway, welcome back, everybody. Jerk am I doing? Oh, man. All right. Uh, it's time for this, real quick. Weekly. You shut your mouth. Oh, okay. We can do that. <laughs> Update. I love it because every week a redneck gets punched. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll start stuff. off by saying I do have weekly updates, but Sweet. if you want to hear them, you're going to have to go and listen to episode 84 of Geek Loves Nerd over at geeklovesnerd.com because you won't just hear one. You will hear two amazing updates. One, I'll give you a hint, has to do with my dog running away from home. 
and uh, and then the <laughs> other one. <laughs> I mean, a greyhound. He runs good too. Yeah, another one has to do with a bumper sticker I took offense with. It basically said that your my cocker spaniel is smarter than your honor student. So I kind of rant about that a little bit. So uh, <laughs> go over there again, episode 84 of Geek Loves Nerd at geeklovesnerd.com, or you can just go to nlcast.com and click on Geek Loves Nerd, because it's back, baby. It's back with a vengeance. John, what do you got, bro? Well, man, I have the best weekly update. But if you want to hear it, you're going to have to go over to my website. <laughs> just kidding. Because <laughs> it looks like crap. Moves. Don't go to my website. Yeah. Jaystineclover.com, um, people. Yeah, no, I need to fix it. I need to make it look good so it doesn't look like an accountant's website. Sorry. <laughs> Ethan laughs because he told it's me that. Stein and Associates. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> but I've got one that will make you cringe. Awesome. Yeah, here we go. All right. Uh, I was uh, building, doing a little woodworking project, putting together a, uh, a, a window seat, basically, mm-hmm. you know, right in a between a couple bookshelves, window seat, little dealio. And I was finishing up, and um, I was feeling the top of the, the wood because, you know, you do that a lot. You just make sure it's not rough. And I swiped my hand back and forth uh, against mm. a crack in it, mm. and, and there was a sure enough splinter in there. Mm. And so I pulled my hand back really fast, you know, like you do when you're like, ah, that yeah. hurts. Yeah, so I did that, and I looked down at my hand, and there is a splinter going from the left to the right. I'm like, oh, my goodness, to this should left, hurt a left. lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like, it's like the arrow through the head trick, except it was a splinter, and it was and on it my was finger. Real. Did you look at the splinter, and did it say, no, John, my son, you will, uh, <laughs> when I found you, you were but a young turtle, but now. No. <laughs> okay, I you get must it. fight the Foot Clan. <laughs> I don't know. That's from the Teenage Mutant. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> no, I didn't, but I did decide that I needed to pull it out. Like this is not going to feel good because it's a splinter, mm. and it's like in my finger, like Turtles. going through it. Do not so pull. Just, no, yes, I was going to pull my finger. Did you? Did you, I mean, <laughs> did you smell it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. Did it smell like? Did it smell like pizza? No. Hey. Why would it? Why would I do that? I don't know. I just wanted to preface that by saying that. So. <laughs> Little precursor. So I pulled it out, and um, it was it wasn't going through my whole finger. It's just <laughs> there's two identical splinters on either side. I oh gosh, that's awesome. Yeah, you had to totally throw all that stuff in there so you didn't pass out or or throw up. Huh? I know because I was imagining it, and it was bigger I than was that. Scared. It was, it was a huge splinter. It was like the size of London. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Was there blood or anything? Was it? I mean, no, not really. <laughs> when I pulled the thing out, it, there's a little bit of blood. This went, <laughs> it's like when uh, Shaun of the Dead dude pulls that nail out of his head, and <laughs> that that little blood spurt goes. <laughs> no, no, it's not a nail. It's a dart. Have you seen that movie? Oh yeah, yeah. That's my favorite Maybe. part because it gets me every flipping time. <laughs> oh. All right, Ethan, what do you got, my friend? Huh. Yeah, I've been really trying to think of something that I, that I could say that wasn't just a broad general. I've been sitting here drawing. Yeah. That's all I do. <laughs> just make um, it sound creative. Man, we're jealous of you, so you can't. I mean, just it's kind that. of funny. I was sitting, I was at church on Sunday. <laughs> and, uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sitting next to Doug to Maple. Oh, jealous. And uh, the cool. lady up on stage gets up there and she's giving announcements and she's uh, talking about women's retreats <laughs> and she goes this year we're going to be going on a few women's retreats we're going to be doing a few mini retreats and then the women will be taking a few I guess you could call them maxi retreats oh wow <laughs> <laughs> and, and Doug goes okay uh oh <laughs> once we all synchronize we'll be going together <laughs> <laughs> and since that's a short one that reminds me of another sh- Quick story when I was at a at a funeral, oh. and uh, a very serious this very he was like my mentor. He's this very serious Christian man that used to meet with me on Saturday mornings. Awesome guy, mm. prayer warrior dude. Loved the old hymns, so we were singing these old hymns at his funeral, and uh, that I think it's the holy 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 song. Uh, right. You know, like diadem and blah 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 blah. Yeah. There's like one part. I think it's that one. Where they say uh, they come before the sacred throng, 
well, yeah. there's a typo. <laughs> <laughs> there's a typo on the on the uh, overhead. <laughs> no, <laughs> and it said that come before the the sacred thong. Oh yes. <laughs> And in the middle of like, I mean, that was the most. It couldn't be the most, the more, a more somber like environment for the word thong to be up there on the screen. And it just, uh. it was so hard. I mean, I was crying at this funeral. I was really sad, but it was so hard. I got out of the funeral, and then like the moment I brought it up with a with a few friends, we just started crying, mm. laughing. Anyway, yeah, so everybody's singing at the sacred thong. <laughs> That's cool. That now, like see, now you've ruined heaven for me. The entire time I'm there, I'm going to be imagining the God, the creator of the universe, in this giant golden thong. Thanks so much. Why are you laughing at this moment? It's his fault, shit lord. <laughs> Your name has been erased from the book of life. <laughs> Don't laugh at my golden <laughs> You're under the way of the song. <laughs> it would have just me and John and Ethan are back at judgment giggling. Come to the front of the line. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Everybody's going to see what you guys have done. <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> oh, great. The song sounds like some sort of naughty bar or something. <laughs> Sacred song. <laughs> sounds like a church I want to go to. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, yes. Awesome. 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 Hey, uh, I'd be amiss if I did not mention our sacred thong, throng, the chat room. <laughs> so uh, chat room meets every Tuesday. It's like a support group for, for people that love to laugh at us. Uh, Tuesdays, 9.30 p.m. Eastern, 6.30 p.m. Pacific, and then somewhere else in the center of the, of the world. Uh, Batman Freaks in there, Blackout Girl, Daniel Lewis, Dachshund, Dr. Quest, J-Man, Marshall Man, Mr. Crutch, Norwegian Girl, Power Mom, Silly Moose, the Angry Bird, Purple Spider, Indigo, Kitsune, Squinky Ashley, Noel Girl, Anonymous, and a bunch of folks. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, 21 in the chat room tonight. So it's a... It's 22! A, 22! Woohoo! Oh, it's a maxi record. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> So oh, no. The thong grows bigger by the I mean the thong <laughs> grows bigger by the oh, day. No. <laughs> hey, I got a little bit of this stuff, so let me play the intro. News. All right, news. Uh I I'm gonna mention again Q Hog, brand new show. Thursdays, nine thirty PM, records live, but you can check it out in iTunes or at QHog.com. Q Hog, it's about uh television. On uh, on uh, Netflix, and we're going to be talking this week, if I'm not mistaken, about No Ordinary Family, which I've really enjoyed. Spoiler, and uh, a little show called Dollhouse by Josh Whedon. So, uh, if you like television and you want to know more about what's on there to watch, uh, you know, uh, not many people know that Netflix has more television than it does movies. It makes sense when you think about it. It does. One movie is. You know what? An hour and a half, mm-hmm. and one episode, one series of a show, twenty-four minimum, unless you're talking about the dang UK, and then you get six Seven. for a season. <laughs> six. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, Geek Loves Nerd is back, and uh, I'd love for you guys to go check that out. It is a marriage and family style couples cast that my wife and I do. She's cute and awesome, and a lot better than me. And people listen to hear her laugh. It's at geeklovesnerd.com. And this episode, episode uh, 84, I believe, is the funniest one yet. So go and check it out and uh, give us some feedback on iTunes. Let us know what you're thinking and all that good stuff. That'd be awesome. And then uh, join us um, uh, through your iPhone and Android app or Android by buying one of our apps in the uh, or both of them if you have both. And uh, yeah. you can get it on your iPad as well. And uh, there's even more stuff. So uh, weekly bonus content, pre-show, post-show stuff, uh, you can get that uh, for a low price at uh, in the iPhone or Android app stores, respectively. So I'm really excited because uh, someone new to the show, Ethan Nicole, is going to be sharing Hi. our featured story. Featured what? story. I know. I asked him, I'm like, hey, can you yeah. do it? And he says, the featured story? And I said, yes. And he said... <laughs> Okay, but it, right. it'll be nothing compared to my weekly updates. And I said, that's okay, man. 
<laughs> All right. We can we can make a song about it. Yeah, and we, a chicken butthole. Yeah, think... <laughs> chicken butthole. <laughs> that was a good one. I had that song stuck in my head. Uh... <laughs> All right, this one, uh, this story takes place back, you know, I actually, you know, I've, I've been a, a big overweight guy since I was like eight. Oh, eight. But I, uh, I got a job at a gym somehow. <laughs> I was working at a gym. I, I worked out there a lot and I was losing weight at the time, but you know, I was still oh, the fattest guy in the room, but I was still like, you know, less fat than normal. And uh, so I got this job just sitting at the counter, basically you just sit at the counter, make sure people sign in when they get in. And I just sit there working on comics and reading and stuff. And uh, it was just kind of like a lazy job, which is funny. But um, anyway, so I had this job. I'm sitting there and it's boring. People are working out, walking by me. And it's just kind of like the doors in the front of the store. And then like the counters right in front of the doors. And the gym is off to the left. And then the locker rooms (laughs) are off to the right. Uh huh. (laughs) I've been there. Yes. So one day I'm I'm at at this job. And I am... uh, I have bad gas. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any other kind? <laughs> no. Yes. And it's just like, it's just nonstop. It's just like, I'm sitting back there alone, and I keep trying to time it. Peeling thunder. <laughs> yeah. And so I'm doing it quietly, but it's like the kind that's, <laughs> it's the kind that, you know, it starts, and then it goes for a while, then it ends, like, <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's not the silent ones. Not, it's not, I don't know if they're not quite silent. silent like an air hose with a down. leak. Yeah, if your ear was down there, you could hear it fine. You wouldn't want it to be down there. Um, so uh, I'm doing that just like. Question. I feel like I'm getting like deflating because it's just coming out so much. And I keep trying to time it so that when I, I sense somebody coming near me, I, I, I seal it up and wait for them to walk by, you know. <laughs> So there's like a lot of traffic for a little while, so I try to really hold it in, and uh, you start floating off your seat. Oh God! Yeah. <laughs> I need to let no, some out. Sound, the, the inward farts start. It's like <laughs> <laughs> when it's trying it's to go back. Now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, go back back. Up. Let's see if we can find our way out the other hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can imagine like a little army of three hundred in there. <laughs> this um, is Marta. Farta, yeah. awesome. Farta? <laughs> yeah. Best line of the day. Okay. Um, so people seem to have cleared out, so I really let this last one out. <laughs> and uh, it's, and I can smell it. It's strong. And uh, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this lady comes over. Oh, gosh. She's walking, and she's walking right, she's walking directly in front of me. And I'm sitting there trying to act like, you know, totally... You know, oblivious to anything. I'm just reading my book, you know. I didn't see it. I'm like, reading what? a book, she, man. She looks at me out of the side of her eye, and then she, like, looks right at me. And she's just staring at me. And then she starts going, <laughs> she starts sniffing the air. <laughs> <laughs> she comes up, she comes up to the counter. <laughs> counter, and she starts taking real, real deep whips. <laughs> she's like... <laughs> Like inhaling it, <laughs> and I'm just looking at her, like trying to act like I don't know what's going on. And I'm like, uh, "Can I help you?" And then she looks me right now, like she knows she's she's on to me, you know. But <laughs> call you and, out. Uh, and there's like this silent moment. She's staring me in the eye, and, and then she finally breaks the silence and goes, "Where's the pizza?" <laughs> Take the back. I'm like, what? Pizza. <laughs> like, I smell pizza. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably long after that. This older guy, <laughs> this old, older guy, walked up and he goes, "Hey, he was cooking pizza." <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> and, this lady, and this guy, I'm like, I don't smell it. I don't know what you guys are talking about. And the oh. lady uh, and the guy are like, I know, I smell it too. It's oh. making me so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I swear this guy is hiding pizza back there. And the, guy, the other guy's like, <laughs> the guy's like, hey, that's not fair having that kind of food back here. We're trying to lose weight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Someone else comes walking to the front. I smell pizza. <laughs> People are being called off their treadmills and tempted by the smell of your freaking fart. <laughs> 
and they're all and, and they're like deeply inhaling it. Oh, oh man, like they're they're inhaling and then they're sighing like that was good. You know? Like they got a little taste. Oh, I think I smell a pepperoni. <laughs> it's a Tuscan pepperoni. cheese. Mm. <laughs> like possible that a number of people that day went out to pizza that night <laughs> because of my oh, my part. And and so. the, and now time for the rest of the story. One of the men there was named Papa John. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> better ingredients, better pizza. <laughs> now you know the rest. The rest of the story. Of the story. <laughs> anyway, I think that good story for John. I he oh was God. <laughs> Oh my goodness! My stomach hurts from laughing at that. <laughs> Lord help us all, people. I gotta get some tissue. This lady, you were so sweating it because you thought she was calling you on a fart, and she was trying to. I know. Hold she you was accountable. Right in the eye. I was we're trying to lose weight here, Mister. Yeah, somebody's been farting back here. He's like, I am too. I'm trying to lose. Something. Yeah, look at me. <laughs> no, I'm a, I don't know how I much don't smell any pizza, but I, I can bake something up for you. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how much <laughs> methane weighs, but I just lost about a pound of it. Oh, <laughs> oh Lord, <laughs> that's awesome. You know, I got a poop brony for you. <laughs> well, you know how when you, when you work <laughs> when you work all day at some place and you come home smell like grease or whatever the, you know, oh. your clothes must have smell like pizza for days. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you get a new job, Ethan? <laughs> oh, I just was in yeah. The- I don't know. It was it was really one of those things that just came out of nowhere. <laughs> I smell pizza. Oh, well, I know where it came I don't think of. I had eaten pizza. I don't know where it, the whole thing came from. This well, whole if idea. you can track down what you ate, <laughs> I would love to duplicate that that scenario sometime. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, I'm not going to be able to eat pizza again. I now. did a like I the first time I ever lit. One of my farts. <laughs> Have you guys ever done that? No. Because yes. I, no, think- I was a camp counselor, and like I remember my camp counselor for Young Life, they, they <laughs> did it. We called it blue flaming, and like they blue yeah. flamed for me. Then I became a leader, and like I, all of a sudden I'm like, I'm leading a cabin. I have to blue flame for these guys, and I've never done it. So <laughs> it. It's a rite of and, passage. And one of the guys, go, like first thing he says is he's like, it's like, that actually smells kind of good. Oh! Like, is that... <laughs> He goes, if that was like, you know, a, a smell coming out of a kitchen, I'd eat that. Whatever that was. <laughs> oh, God. Coming out of a kitchen. It's rum roast. <laughs> Have a bite. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, it's too bad I started the show off saying I wasn't going to laugh at any <laughs> fart jokes. I, know. Uh, I just keep thinking of the IT crowd, and he's like, it's my sweet meats. <laughs> my my trouser hams. <laughs> <laughs> trouser hams are cooking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mamma Mia! I got a nice pizza growing for you, and a mozzarella. <laughs> oh, help us, help us, Lord! Oh, it'd have been funny if they had started whittling down what, 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 what they smelled. Yeah, yeah. they get behind the counter and start. <laughs> it's a little hint of rosemary. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Is that stuffed crust? <laughs> yes. I think I smell beer with that. Is it? Do you smell beer? <laughs> Chicago style. Mm. <laughs> it's deep dish. <laughs> awesome. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh man, you could just go on and on with that. That would make a great yeah. pick. Because you're probably back there and everybody's gathering around the desk and you like feel more coming on. Oh, hey, I think yeah. I smell another waft of the pizza coming yeah. through. <laughs> we'll just let it all out at that point. <laughs> Time for the I'm second course. Sound effects. <laughs> Oh, it's one of those dessert pizzas now. (laughs) (laughs) Smells like Uh, Do I smell (laughs) anything? You're the Willy Wonka of farting, dude. (laughs) (laughs) I wonder if I ruin I wonder if any of those any of those people had like, you know, really been fighting to lose weight and been eating right and that night because of my fart, they started eating pizza and they totally not went off their diet, put all the weight back on. You, know. you could have helped them. You would have just messed up. Oh gosh. The truth. There are people out there that are bulbously fat now because of you. <sighs> <laughs> I had it down, man. I was almost a goal. <laughs> the most amazing smell I ever smelled goes wafting through the YMCA. 
Oh. <laughs> Great stuff. Excellent. <laughs> Uh, I'm glad it was a quick story, though. We do have some uh, listener <laughs> stuff. <laughs> so uh, Noah says, first of all, I love the show. But well, wait, I got to play this up first. Hold on. E and V mail. Thank you for calling. Yeah, if I don't do that, people people will not, not know that we're now reading emails. Uh, first of all, I love the show. and I'm a pretty new listener. Aw, he's a pretty listener. He's um, pretty. He's pretty. Um, I first uh, heard about the show from the Ramen Noodle, and I've been hooked awesome. ever since. Well, thank you, thank you. Um, I would like to inform you that the egg does indeed come from a chicken's butt. Is <laughs> really? This like whole the butt. is called the cloaca, and it's a multi-purpose oh, yeah. hole in the chicken's rear. And your faithful n- listener, Noah, that's a little, um, little bit true, but a little bit uh, – actually, it's very true – but uh, I did some research myself, and I found out that when that portal opens, it closes off the other portal, even though they share the same um, outlet. It's the same exit hole. Yeah. It's the same exit. Yeah. So it's, it's funny. It's when little- I was in a high school, I used to draw cartoons for the high school paper, and I kept getting in trouble for drawing cartoons that were like a little too Risky. gross. And I got a fart joke or something. <laughs> and my, my principal came to me in the hall, and he goes, I... Uh, uh, after I, there had been a big, big uh, bunch of drama between him and my teacher and all this stuff, um, and I saw him in the hall. He goes, "So I'm not going to be seeing any more of that cloacal humor, am I?" And I go, "What's cloacal mean?" And he's like, "Well, once you look it up and find out, then you'll know what I mean." <laughs> he wouldn't tell me the definition. <laughs> he's still educating you. <laughs> I don't know. Like, you look, you look like Theodore Roosevelt too. So imagine Theodore Roosevelt saying that. And uh, so then I. <laughs> I looked it up and I was like, "Oh, that's a great word because it like means butt <laughs> of the butt or whatever." So I, uh, I I did a full a book collecting everything I'd ever done in high school and I called it the Cloacal Collection and <laughs> sold it. I sold it around school. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and you gave all the and proceeds. He saw it. He loved it. He, he's loud. He's that's laughing. awesome. That. That's cool. <laughs> that's uh, awesome. Little side note though, if you're ever <clears throat> if you're ever at Ethan's house and he's cooking dinner. Um, don't, don't trust the first smell you smell coming through the door. What is? Mm, mm. Well, it smells I'm, like brownies in here, dude. I ordered <laughs> I ordered pizza. It's not even here yet. What? <laughs> oh man, is that lasagna? No, I made to make him Jello. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, James and John, I'm ready to let you know I love the Nobody's Listening podcast. Each time I listen to an episode, you have me laughing right along with you. I try not to laugh while I'm listening when someone else is around, but that's not always easy. And then I have to explain to the person why I'm laughing. I also love the stories, the updates, and the (laughs) ending song, as well as some of the songs you play at the beginning. I always wonder where these people come up with the songs you play. Some are just too funny. I didn't put the name in. Boo. Well, you know who you are. Thank you so much for your compliments and comments. <clears throat> it's going to take a couple weeks before the emails start mentioning Ethan. He's got to endear himself to the peeps. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know he's a All regular. Right. Yeah. yeah. I don't mind. Uh, James, I also love Geek Loves Alert. Oh, never mind. She, she continues. I also love Geek Loves Alert. Geek loves nerd. Nope. <laughs> and I, I have to confess that I love listening to the Jenna cast, even though I'm much older than Jenna and have no kids. I love her voice when she gets too giggly. Thanks for all the podcasts <laughs> you do. We'll be listening till the day you end any or all of the shows. Uh, that's kind of an, on, an ominous, um, ominous ending. Nicole. Mm-hmm. So Nicole. With one L. She spells it wrong. So. Oh, okay. I'm, oh, wait. Is that how Ethan, you spell your last he name? He spells it with two L's. N I C O L L E. Oh. I finally memorized oh, she spell it. Hers? Hers, hers is one L, L or two? One L. Okay. She's the woman for you, Ethan. If she's <gasps> single, yeah. I mean, it'd be a cool name, Nicole Nicole. I've been looking for it. So. <laughs> that would be rad. <laughs> that would be like a band name, like Rachel Rachel. <laughs> name, <laughs> name your son Nick. And then he, he'd, <laughs> yeah. he'd have to be a Nick punk Nicole. guitarist or something. Nick Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> Only time that would ever sound cool, because Ken <laughs> Kennison sounds stupid. <laughs> well, that sounds like a Barbie doll or something. That's what I'm talking about. Just, Why not Venison Kennison? <laughs> or Henderson, Henderson Kennison. I don't know. It's just dumb. Any way you look at it, my last name is dumb. Uh, let's listen to this real quick. 
Hello, this is JDEF30 for Nobody's Listening. JDEF30 uh, saying hey to you guys. Uh, got a story for you, James. Uh, I know you being a youth pastor uh, will probably enjoy this one. And, Kids pastor. Uh, John will enjoy this one for reasons that will become obvious later. Um, oh, boy. <laughs> when I was a young feller, I... Uh, young feller. <laughs> we had a youth director that uh, decided to pile a few kids in his, the back of his sports car, or rather his wife's sports car. And I forget where we were going, but we were going to some event. And as we were coming home... We noticed that someone had hit the deer in front of us. And uh, so we had to stop, and the guy in the pickup in front of us, was uh, our youth director got out and talked to him. And apparently our youth director got this idea that uh, he was going to uh, split the meat with this guy. So he what? put the... <laughs> deer in the back of his wife's truck. I'm sorry, oh. in the back of his wife's, in the trunk of his wife's sports car. Oh, and, no. Uh, so he goes to someone's house who's a sponsor and knocks on their door, and this is maybe one or... He's, he's hey, driving. Man. Sorry, this is maybe one or two uh, in the morning. <laughs> at, you want to help me this deer? Hey, Mark. Well, of course he didn't. Well, anyway... He, uh, to make a long story short, uh, the deer, <laughs> or long. when they got to take the deer out of the trunk, the deer's bladder had busted. Oh, God. <coughs> God his wife was happy. Anyway, enjoy the show. Hmm. Uh, oh, I think I'm in there. And, uh, remember, there's a whole okay. lot of us nobodies out there listening to you guys. Oh. So, uh,. <laughs> Thanks for being there. Oh, appreciate it. I appreciate uh, it so much. Um, <laughs> <pizza>? <laughs> There's just something wrong about the word bladder. I don't think you could ever yeah. use that and it not just gross you out anyway. Especially when you put ruptured or exploded. Yeah, exploded or, bladder. Gosh, they left the deer in the back of a uh, car? Sports car? Sports How would it even fit? I can't like, talk. My mom put a cow in the back of our hard. van, so... <laughs> Huh. Oh no. man! Alive or dead? It was alive. You haven't heard that episode. It was it was back in the old NL cast days, but yeah, I haven't caught it. Free a lot of catching up. Yeah, it was, it was called Free Cow, and my <laughs> mom um, <clears throat> took the van. Or actually, my sister tells it really well that she was uh, getting in the back of the car, and there were groceries, you know, in the car, and the groceries <laughs> were moving. And she looked past the groceries into the depths of the the back of the uh, the giant van, conversion van, and there was a, a a calf laying down in the back of this van, and just moving around and stuff. And I'm like, Amy, don't you realize that this means you know my mom went and picked up this cow, and then went grocery shopping, and left oh, this no. cow in the back of the car, or the tr- and then went and got you. So it just it just never fails. Oh. Free cow first, James. That's right. That's right. <laughs> uh, all right, let's do another voicemail real quick. This is Albert Gunner from Maryland, and um, I have a story for nobody's listening. Mm-hmm. So this happened to me over the summer. I was doing flight training at the camp, and my partner happened to get air sick a lot. Oh. So this is like his second or third time in the front seat of the cockpit and mm-hmm. he's flying and he starts to feel a little sick <laughs> mm-hmm. so he pulls out a paper bag and why he throws up in it <clears throat> and our instructor says we're not carrying that all the way back to the airport so he banks the plane about 45 degrees and opens the window and tells him to throw it out <laughs> and by this point the bag's ripped a hole and he's holding it by the bottom yeah <gasps> and as he throws it out it explodes Explodes and all of it just comes back and hits me in the face. <laughs> I was lucky I was wearing sunglasses or else I'd probably have some sort of visual damage or something. <laughs> Anyways, I uh, hope you guys played on the show and I uh, love the show. Bye. <laughs> I 
was about to say barf, exploding bladders. What else? As soon as I heard <laughs> him puking in a bag, I'm like, what's the what's the life, the shelf life of, <laughs> of a puke soaked paper bag? It can't yeah. be but a couple of seconds, you know, before it turns to tissue paper. So mm. uh, I kind of mm. predicted that one. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Let's move I'm right sure along. My mouth is starting to water. <laughs> I know. I, I uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's the worst sound you could hear in headphones right here. And that's what I want to do when I hear stories like that. <laughs> All right. Hey, y'all. A few years ago, my family had two backyard chickens, a hen and a rooster. The rooster was really aggressive and would also often faint attack if you got near it. It would charge at you with its feathers fluffed out but never actually attacked. Keep in mind that roosters have sharp spurs on their legs for fighting each other. Yeah, I know this well because my parents had a bunch of chickens in a chicken house. <laughs> One day, and a rooster, and one day I was getting my horse's feet out of the barn, and the rooster was standing in the doorway as it always did. I swung the bucket of horse feet at it to shoo it away, just like I would always do. But this time, the bucket clipped the rooster on the beak. Oh, no, you didn't! <laughs> the rooster immediately went into a rage. It's like a Pokemon battle. It's like, uh, he flew straight at my face to attack. I ran back to the house screaming as the crazed rooster attacked the back of my legs all the way. When I got inside, I went in the bathroom to see where it scratched me. I looked in the mirror. What I saw was my face was completely covered in blood. I washed the blood off and looked up. New stream of blood immediately poured down my face from a cut on my forehead where the rooster had spurred me. I also had two long scratches across my face, over my eyelids, and over my nose. I put a washcloth to the cut and uh, immediately went across the street to my cousin's farm. I found him and I said, our rooster just attacked me. Could you come shoot it for me? Sounds like my mom. <laughs> and within five minutes of the attack, the rooster was blown away by my cousin's 12 yes! gauge. <laughs> <laughs> my cousin is smarter than your chicken. Um, number sticker. I had to get rid of the rooster because the time my grandmother was at the time my grandmother was still alive, and the rooster had fainted attacks at her before. I didn't want the attack to to hit her because That's she wouldn't right. be able to run away. Vengeance. Yeah, that was very very yeah. kind. It wasn't revenge. It was protecting no. our family. That's right. I'm lucky because if the rooster had spurred me just inches lower, it would have taken out one of my eyes. That would have been embarrassing to tell people. How'd you lose your eye, buddy? Was it a war wound? No, it was a chicken. <laughs> I didn't just punt that thing. Ch chicken took I know, out. My I would eye. want to take it out. Have you ever been chased by poultry? It no. is there. Been, I used to have this goose that would pick on me. Yeah. I used to jog around the pond, Them and it would like it put its wings out like it was like a thug wanting to get in a fight. You know, like yeah, like, oh, what, <laughs> what? <laughs> And so it kept, it would get up closer and closer every day. And one day it got right in my face with its wings out, you know, like, I will take you down. And that's why I, I went, I went up, I involuntarily went into a crane kick position and I crane kicked it in the face. And I just <laughs> kicked it off. How ironic. And it just started hissing. Yeah, crane kick. It's like, hiss, and just ch it chased me like halfway around the pond. Yeah, the, <laughs> ge geese are mean, but, but roosters have weapons i mean literally like spurs sticking out of their dang legs and they will use them they're like like raptors <laughs> little tiny <laughs> raptors so it's still stomp on it or something yeah. She, yeah jenny says i'm not afraid of spiders or snakes i'm but i am terrified of roosters i will not go near one and i completely panic if they get near me roosters are the devil and they know to go straight for your eyes uh is it the moral of the story never hit a rooster on the beak jenny yeah yeah, see, I, I've told this story before, but we had a chicken, too, and a rooster, and he would jump on my back and try to get me, and I, I wanted to hurt him, and my mom would be like, don't you hurt my rooster! Don't you hurt him! <laughs> and uh, that literally is exactly what she sounded like. And, um, and, and so <laughs> yes. I had to go in and, and deal with this dumb rooster every day, and then all of a sudden, one day, I look out in the back, and this rooster's free out in the yard, and my mom's got a gun, a uh, twenty two, <laughs> not a shotgun, a twenty two. And uh, somehow or another, she's going to kill this thing. And I'm like, what? what's the deal? What changed? Well, it attacked her. So, oh, yeah. And I can't, I can't, this is a clean show, so I can't say what the new rooster's new name was. But, uh, <laughs> really? Yeah. Tell us after the show. <laughs> well, it just started with a D. It rhymed with uh, Beaver Dam. But uh, it was just that. <laughs> Uh, that that D rooster that was that was what his name was for the rest of his my life, but uh, I'm gonna kill him. 
Ah, I'm on a camera. Yeah, she shot him in the in the neck, and uh, his neck just kind of his head flopped over, and we dug Ooh. a hole, and he walked into it. Because <laughs> <laughs> they don't stop, you know, and they don't stop. Mm. So. <laughs> Uh, let me read a couple more, and then it's time for the recap song. Hey, James and John, it's my first story since the show ended. Uh, you call it a reboot if you want to. Anyway, this Saturday I was at a party at my friend's house. Everyone was having fun playing co-op on his PS3. While some of us were waiting for a chance to play, we looked for something to do. First, we were throwing my knives at a target on the wall. That's always smart. Mm -hmm. Then we found mm -hmm. some toy lightsabers, and my friend's little brother had left in the basement. We decided to have a lightsaber duel. I put on a Guy Fox mask, and I challenged someone to fight me until they accepted... I extended the lightsaber's blade and jumped back into a ninja pose. Unfortunately, I landed right on a spot where two sections of the carpet met. It slipped. I fell. My leg bent in a 45-degree backwards angle. I immediately oh. knew something, but I didn't oh, know no. what was wrong. Oh. I looked down into my horror. My kneecap was on the side of my leg. Mm. <laughs> Why do people share these stories? Yeah. <laughs> Eventually, wow. someone called 911 and the paramedics came, and I lied to them about having a lightsaber, and they took me to the ER. Ugh. Mm. Mm -mm. You don't have to lie about having a lightsaber. Yeah, it's tell not them. against the law. Tell them what happened, man. It's okay. I can't imagine what other thing you would create. You know, somebody uh, did this to you that you just wanted <laughs> to see if it would work. Anyway, it was about midnight, and they gave me a small dose of morphine as they explained to my dad how they would knock me out and force my kneecap back into its proper <laughs> position. Mm. They put the knockout drug into my IV yep. cable, and they asked me to count down from 100. I don't even remember falling asleep, but when it was over, I noticed my kneecap was back in its normal position, despite being very swollen and upside down. Just kidding. I added that. <laughs> I just want to know if he still had the Guy Fox Max on. <laughs> yeah, explain that, you know. Do you remember the day in December? <laughs> or whatever that thing is. Uh, the, the Ides of March. I don't know. Anyway, they gave me a brace to keep me from bending my leg, and they oh. sent me home. It's now day three of my recovery, and I'm still barely able to walk with crutches. Hope some of you are able to laugh at this as much as I did. When I was high on painkillers, they gave me. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, and thanks for the long reading the long story not too long aye, aye, aye. It's worth i it. thought the swollen kneecap was going to explode uh, <laughs> <laughs> it smelled like pizza <laughs> there's knee juice everywhere <laughs> oh it's the gift that keeps on that giving <laughs> who is that who's that guy fox story from did he leave his name oh oh that was i said it i thought um jared jared oh. you know the guy from um the sandwich shop Sub so uh, so, yeah, um, basically, uh, we're done with all of the feedback and stuff, and we just have a little bit of advice from you guys, from a fellow listener. Hey, I don't want you calling those guys. So, yeah, don't, <laughs> don't call us. It's time for a recap song, the part of the show that you've been waiting for ever since um, we, coined, uh, we coined the phrase. Last recap song. Pizza fart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, John. Feed me, Seymour. Um, I'd love to hear a song about a sacred thong. <laughs> a Dream funeral. I went to heaven. <laughs> you were there with me. <laughs> <laughs> Walked around the streets of gold Beyond the crystal sea I heard the angels singing Someone called your name I turned and saw a young man And he was grimacing as he came And I know up in heaven You're not supposed to cry when I saw you dig that thong out There were tears in my eyes As I stood before the throne And looked into the eyes of the Lord He said, my child, feel down beneath your pants Cause great is your reward Thank you for giving me a thong I did wrong Thank you For letting me have a thong Yeah, yeah I am 
so glad I changed. Hey, hey, hey. I'm so glad they have golden floss up here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Ethan. Should we should we see if he can make another uh, great epic song out of a out of a, a fart at the YMCA? <laughs> okay, yeah. Hey, all right, uh, we'll try it. Yeah, I want to hear what he has to do oh, on that one. Man. Ah, uh, we got to musicify it, songify it. Yeah. When I was young, I had a dream to be a magic chef. Unlike the other boys that played with G.I. Joes, I got a, uh, what do you call it, an easy bake oven. And I tried and tried to make delights for everyone, but everything I made just fell apart. Apparently, cooking is a work of art. <laughs> so I gave up and spread my wings and tried to do a million other things. But all I did was put on weight and began to hate and roll go see. And everyone who did not eat from me, cause I was not making anything. So I got a job at the local gym And I sat behind the counter again Reading comics, looking at emails And suddenly a smell came out of me That I thought I'd have to leave But a lady smiled and looked at me and winked She said, I think I love you Food with that gravy that I'm smelling of right now. Italian meatballs coming from down south. And I knew that God was smiling down on that day. Cause the gas that came out of smell like souffle <laughs> oh, no. right, um. well she ran away like the woman at the well she had to go down to the stair steppers and tell everyone about the thing she'd seen or rather smell she told them about the spicy meatball and everything else that was out in the hall and they came out and lined up behind my seat to see if they could smell my smell my manly meats and i was glad to share just don't mind my copious back but hair as you weave your way through More than happy to let you know that that's my uh, poopless poo. <laughs> <laughs> my poopless poo appetized you and made you gain some weight till you were 302 pounds. I'm sorry I tempted you. Wow. Yep. All right. Nothing like a little pressure to ruin a song. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, James. Like, do the best song ever and do it now. <laughs> oh, that was man. Very, um, pretty amazing. Man. Yeah, whatever. It, it was like uh, it was like a Phil Joel, not Phil Joel, um, Billy Joel song where it just went on and on and on and had, yeah. had no repeating parts and the choruses didn't match and all that kind of stuff but uh thank you thank you again for for uh for for an awesome story uh yeah, we Ethan. should do a whole show of exploding sax stories <laughs> oh, i'm afraid of the emails we'd get 
Oh, no, no. You just never know. And they don't stop. That's the thing. The emails don't stop. They come in for weeks afterwards. But this has been Nobody's Listening, Our Funny Life Stories and Yours. You can check us out online at nlcast.com. And uh, actually, I'm sorry, podcast.nlcast.com. Email us, james at nlcast.com. Call us if you want to, 209-5-NLCast. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter, slash NLCast. Join us for a live show Tuesday nights, 930. Leave an iTunes review if that's how you found us. Check out all of the NLCast podcast network shows at nlcast.com. We may actually have a new show coming that I'm very excited about. I uh, can't tell anybody about it yet, but I can drop a little hint. Uh, so there you go. Thanks to our sponsors, Rob Gobers, for our theme music. Thanks to our spouses for letting us record, our contributors, and everyone who listens. And thank you, all of you listeners who, who uh, support the show. And uh, you can do the same thing for five bucks a show. And we'll mention you. And uh, remember, when you tell a funny life story, Mm. tell it like nobody's listening.